In this video, I will be covering attaching rasters in Open Roads Designer Connect. To start off, we are going to have to make sure that we have a coordinate system applied to our file. In order to get to that, you are going to go into either the Open Roads Modeling, or you can go down to the Drawing, you are going to go to the Utilities, and in here you are going to have your coordinate system. From here, you can see we do not have one applied, so we are going to go ahead and select one from our libraries. Choose one of the Iowa RCSs. I'm going to go ahead and choose zone 1 for this example. As you can see, now we have it applied. Now that we have that applied, we are ready to go ahead and attach our raster. So I'll go ahead and navigate to photogrammetry rasters. For this example, I'm just going to use Adair. Make sure that you have the attachment method of interactive selected. Then here you can select the model. This here shows the year it was flown and then what type of uh, information it's pulling from. So this one's pulling from the SID, this one's pulling from a WMS. Over here we have a description. In the description it shows you how accurate that uh, raster is. So this one's to one foot accuracy. So we're just going to go ahead and pick that one. In orientation you want to select geographic reprojected. This is the most accurate reprojecting for these raster files. Make sure you don't need nesting for this one. Everything else here is just default. We're going to go ahead and click OK. As you can see now we have our raster. To double check, if you want to, to make sure that if you're coming in on the right spot, come up here and you select Open in Google Maps. Select that intersection there, and as you can see, there we go. It comes right in at that intersection there. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and create some sheets and show how the uh, raster attachment here in this default model interacts with the sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my drawing production. Actually, you know, we want to go modeling first. Go into our geometry. I'm going to make sure that I have a feature definition here applied with the geom baseline. Make sure it's applying it. Just draw a quick line here. All right, now we can go into our drawing production. Go ahead and annotate it just out of practice. Now we've got our stationing and tick marks. From here, we're going to go ahead and place name boundary. I'm just going to go ahead and do a real quick 50 scale. And I'm not going to change anything else on this. Just do this quick and dirty. We're going to do it right to the start. I'm just going to create one sheet. And then make sure that you have the create drawings. And then we will accept it. Brings up the create drawing. Doing a plan. Plan only 50 scale. So yeah, this all this. I'm not going to add it to the sheet index just for this example here. So we go ahead and hit OK. Now we go ahead and it uh, creates the references and the model here. So as you can see, we've got our raster, our alignment, all that stuff in here. So if we go back out here to the default and we just go ahead and detach that raster. We go back into our sheet views. You can see it detaches it. So whatever you attach into the default model, those references come in through here. And that's because in this one, the this right here is set to nesting depth of 99. So this one's going to see this file and then any any uh, files that are referenced below it. So it looks at this one, it looks at this model, and then it sees any of the references in that model as well. 
So we'll go back to our default model here. Just go back home. Actually, I can go down here. We're just going to reattach that Adair one real quick. So now, as you can see in the sheet view, it has it reattached here. So that is how you work with rasters in Open Roads Designer Connect.